Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews. So this is going to be a bit of a different video guys. I thought because I've not really been on camera for nearly two and a half weeks, maybe three weeks. Although you guys won't see it like that because I've pre-recorded a lot of my videos. Um, I thought I'd give you an update of what's happened, what's gone on in the past seven days. I know a lot of you do know bits and bats of it. but I, And I have had a lot of deliveries since I've been back home and back in hospital. So guys, as you know, on the 4th of October, I went in for a total hysterectomy. I went in for a bladder repair and a perineum repair. And if you don't know what any of that means, go and look in the gynecology department um, of Google and it'll tell you everything. So I had um, two prolapses and um, I can't have any more children. So we kind of decided it was time to have a hysterectomy. And I know that at, at the age of 42, I didn't want my ovaries taken out. And successfully, the operation went really well. So I, I went down to theatre about half two, came back down about quarter to seven, came back up, sorry, at quarter to seven. A lot of pain. Can't really remember too much about it. It was a lot, a bit fuzzy. My husband was there and my mother-in-law was there when I woke up. And um, yeah, it was painful. Very, very painful. Very, very surreal feeling. Um, like the next day I had my pack taken out which was obviously there for a reason to collect blood and stuff that in itself was painful and um, the following day I had my catheter removed I did have all my tubes and everything my um, drip my drainage all that was moved out and then on the so I was there on the Friday I stayed there on the Saturday and then Sunday about 8 o'clock I was discharged home so happy to get home but I struggle a little bit guys like when you're in a hospital bed and a certain chair that's it's made for people like have had operations and have got back disability I struggled a little bit coming home and sitting on this couch even though my couch does recline far back which is great I have had DVTs guys so I am um, what they call a st statistic blood clotter so for safety reasons I am injected with um, anoxaporin, it used to be Clexane, it's changed now. I then get ejected in my stomach every single night for the next six weeks. I have to wear some beautiful stockings, which I, I cannot show you guys because I cannot physically like get my legs up in the air and show you. But you get the gist, they are stockings that compress your legs, stop you from clotting or getting a blood clot and so forth. Because I've had blood clot, I've got to be very, very careful. So I came home and I was just really uncomfortable and I had I had Killstar deliveries. I had, I had made orders way before. I knew that it would take about two, three weeks for my orders to come through. So I did um, use some 25% off discounts and codes and stuff, honey codes and stuff like that. So my orders were there, but I just did not have the energy guys to open them. But my husband helped me and I will show you a couple of things. I can't show you them all because I'll do that when I'm better. Um, but basically I ended up going back into hospital on the Monday because I was um, hemorrhaging from my urethra. If you don't know what your urethra is, ladies, it is the tube that connects to your bladder so it's your drainage. Um, and if you think about it, I've had a prolapse bladder. I had my bladder moved and stitched to the back wall. So my urethra has been quite compressed for, for since 2016. That's, it's took a while for it to kind of work its way through. and. Obviously, I've been bleeding somewhere along the line, and when I left the hospital, um, I didn't really get much instruction to aftercare. I'm not going to go into it all, but let's go. Guys, I, I went in. I was admitted for the second time. I stayed in. Um, I had a catheter put in. I came out. My catheter got blocked. I had no desperate nurse to come out because, obviously, I was only having a catheter, hopefully, for a short time because I'd been referred to a urologist. Um, and then the catheter got blocked with a blood clot. Um, basically I had to ring 999 in the end because nobody would come out and help me. I'd held my urine in for about three to four hours. The pain was very uncomfortable. I really didn't like it. Um, paramedics came out. They're absolutely lovely people. When he did my blood pressure, something popped and my um, catheter started to flow again. I feel two litres of, yeah, urine up super, super fast. And I had a peg leg bag, so I had to empty it. 
and I was so thankful to them but then it, my husband had way gone past angry at this time with the amount of aftercare and help and so forth not everybody was um, being funny with me but there was a lot of um, nurses that were being a little bit office with me and do you know what I mean it, 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 I'm not there because I want to be there I'm there because I had no choice but to be there but it just felt like I was getting in the way if that makes sense so then the ambulance people offered to take me up to the hospital and I said no it's okay my husband was on the phone to everybody trying to find out what the hell was going on um, we did contact the hospital and asked if it's possible we could have the catheter change because maybe there's something wrong with the catheter because it's blocking um, and they said they don't very much there's anything wrong with the catheter we went the following night to pick up my medication because when I got discharged from the second time they had um, given me antibiotics just in case of any blood clots, um, any sepsis or any kind of infection, stuff like that. So I had to go back and collect it. Nobody offered to change my catheter or check it. So that was down as a cross in my husband's book. And then the next morning, same, exactly the same time scale as the day before when I phoned the paramedics. Um, I emptied my nighttime bag, which wasn't that full, to be honest with you. And, I, and guys, these are the size of the glasses I'm drinking. I'm only supposed to drink like one glass an hour. These are quite big glasses compared to the hospital. So this takes me about an hour and a half to drink. But I do have to drink a, a lot of water to flush my system. So um, I'm drinking these, guys. I'm drinking, I think it was about three of them. And I had two coffees and I had an apple juice. So a lot of liquid and i think i started to realize that my um leg bag wasn't filling up and within about 40 minutes i started to get instant pain but the pain was far greater than the day before um i cut a long story short my husband had to rush me back to the ward so much so that i was screaming in pain i've never ever in my life god's honest truth never been in that much pain in my entire 42 years of living I've had four children, I've had four big children, I've had difficulties, I've had operations, I've been knocked down, I've had lots of operations and accidents. This by far had been the worst, worst pain I was in. If you can imagine six hours of not being able to empty your bladder, I've got a very small bladder compared to the usual size bladder, so I can't hold a large capacity anyway. So usually the one glass of water should fill out within what, 10 minutes or so, but mine wasn't emptying um that fast but all of a sudden my bladder started to kind of expand the pain was excruciating my husband literally parked outside my tourniquets with no parking spaces he left the, the, the van doors open rushed me into the gynecology maternity department they rushed me up in a wheelchair and i was screaming everything was going fuzzy i was ready to pass out with the pain um cut long story short my husband had to go because the van couldn't stay there left me in the care of the urologist she eventually um found out that i had a blood clot again in my catheter drained 900 ml of um, liquid and um, i've been passing blood clots so basically guys i got discharged today because i seem to be um flowing now i am in a lot of pain in my urethra because i've had one, two, three, four, five. I think I've had about six catheters in and out. Um, and I've been having blockages with blood clots there. So, and I've had a lot of trauma and everything. So I've been in a lot of pain, guys. So, <laughs> sorry it's so long to explain, but I wanted to explain to you guys why things have been the way they have. I have not pre-recorded a lot of videos, guys. So you're going to find that there's not a lot of videos going to be coming on. So I thought if I did this, it's just an extra video to keep you guys going and you get to understand why I'm not going to be posting that many videos. And I hope you can be really patient with me and understand why. Now after this video guys, it's going to be an occult bag. It's my monthly subscription. It's my um, September subscription bag. Um, I paid £5 for this one and um, that's going to come on straight after this. It was done the day before I went back into hospital guys. So it'll be a total different kind of video. Right, so with that said, I am home, I am resting, I have got to take it easy. I just literally, guys, I, and I, I feel absolutely amazing. So guys, I can't cough either, so bear with me. <laughs> I, um, I've had a shower, I've had to sit on a chair. 
and to shave my legs and stuff like that. I've washed my hair and it feels absolutely amazing uh, because it's been over a week since I've washed it. Uh, if you saw my usual products, I'm not going to go through all that, but let's just say my hair feels lovely. I've got no makeup on, guys. I have no energy to put makeup on. I've got a little bit of lip balm on, um, which I've got out of one of the boxes, and that's fine. I've got my jammers on. Now, my Killstar, one of the first hauls that I got was this cushion. Um, I took this into hospital, guys. I've got to tell you the looks I got of some of the nurses. <laughs> it was like um, a little bit like um, shocking. <laughs> like there was reading it and obviously it says, you can sleep when you're dead and I'm in a hospital. Probably wasn't appropriate for me to bring it in, but it's so goddamn squishy, so I was going to bring it. Right, let me just get these order forms. Right, guys, so here we go. So this is the sleep board cushion and it was $17.99. I thought it was a lot smaller than this, guys, but it's actually quite big. And it's like the fleecy soft feel. And the words are all holographic. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And then like this bit is kind of raised, but it doesn't feel raised when you put your finger on it. So it is a fair size and it is just black. Now, guys, I've been sleeping with this in hospital. I absolutely love it. I'm going to order a couple more because I love them. So I'm going to order a couple more for my bed. I'm going to order the pillowcases as well to match it. I also got the, um, it's not the end fleece blanket, which I've got around me now, guys. Let me just, so it is a good full size blanket. I think Mama Goss got this on the back of her sofa. And when I first seen her unbox it, I just thought that is amazing. Uh, you can have a wall. There's a wall plaque one you can get as well, but I haven't got enough wall space to do that. So I don't need to buy that. But this blanket is so soft. It's not really thick, guys, because I've got one here that's mega thick, which I use in the real cold weather and it's purple. But this is like, it's thin, but it's so snuggly. It's so soft. I absolutely love it. So that was that, guys. I've got loads of people messaging me. Then I got this candle and it says, do as I say, you beep, 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 beep. What's it on the channel? And um, at the back, it says, tired of unlucky, beep, beep that just won't understand, light the candle, let your leadership power flow around, command your will, get that little rebel do your bidding. So guys, this is what it says at the back. I can't lift this up too much because it's quite heavy, believe it or not. And it's got a lid and it's, it smells like witch's brew, guys, but it's hot, <laughs> burn it, I love it. But I'm not gonna burn it, guys. So I'm gonna order another one so I've got one on either side because I <laughs> absolutely love this candle and it's extremely heavy. Now, guys, I only paid $5.98 for that candle and I thought that was really cheap compared to some that I've bought. So, fantastic. Now, guys, I have had some shoes. I've not got them here. I've put them away for now, but I'll just quickly give you an update of what I got. So, I got the sold out high tops. Absolutely love them. I got a size eight. They are a little bit big. But I just thought maybe the sizes might be a bit funny. They have like spikes on them and they're high taps. They remind me of my Converse. As you know, I absolutely love Converse for my comfort. But I like the chunky Converse, not the flat Converse. I've tried them on and worn them to the hospital and I absolutely love them. So guys, I will do separate videos for all three of my shoes. I'll do a try on and we'll do a review because I would have actually tried them on. Well, I don't think I would have worn one pair, but I would have tried them on excuse me so I can tell you so then I got the um cemetery lane heels in a size eight these were all on sale guys so I got these at a really good price um these are the ones that have got the back wings on the end the pvc shoes and they strap at the ankle and they are um stiletto healed excuse me and they're red inside so they look like is it Labute shoes absolutely love them guys so i will do a video of them what i'm thinking of doing is getting three killstar outfits so i'm going to do a whole killstar look and maybe with some jewelry um so far so i might do that for christmas coming up into christmas because I, I am buying some clothes for christmas with my money so i may do that i also got some crucy freak mule and i got them in a size seven they were really reasonable guys now they're the ones that are quite high so they are quite blocked heel and they're quite platformed. <laughs> Two minutes, guys. <coughs> they're quite platformed. But um, I would class them as more as bedroom shoes, guys. But I had to have them in my collection. And because they were that bloody cheap, I wasn't going to pass them the opportunity of getting something that is so cheap. So um, I am skint now. But 
it is what it is. I took the um, clear pay, so I think I pay every two weeks for them. That way I don't feel like it's costing me too much and I can manage it that way. So that was that, guys, for my Killstar. Now I wanted to show you this as well. So I'm going to go and order a few more of these because I absolutely love them and they're really, really reasonable. I think I paid 4 99 And this one is, it's called the Skelly Anim Skell Animals. Now, if you look, he's a monkey. But once you take the monkey back, he is a skeleton. So guys, you know I love skulls. Absolutely love it. Now, this is very much like this material. It's very, very soft. He's got a little monkey tail. And he is quite fluffy and cuddly. And there he's got his little hat on. So I think last time I looked at these, he's got a little hat in the middle. They had, um, I think they had a cat, maybe a dog. Um, I can't remember if they had a sheep, a lamb or a cow. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to go on the website now and have a look to see what else they've got. I would love a wolf in one of these. So I'm going to see what they've got. Um, I, I was either get some more of these, I was going to get another um, teddy from Killstar. Now, I don't want to go down the route of collecting teddies, guys, because I don't like too much stuff in my bed. I'd rather collect the cushions, to be honest with you. But I just like the material of these. So, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, guys. So, after this video, a cult is going to be coming on. <coughs> I can tell you now that my Halloween occult box has been dispatched. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I am coughing because, obviously, I've had the, the pipe down. And I'm still not quite over the fact that I'm coughing. And it hurts to cough. Everything rattles around inside. So, I've... Um, I was given like this birthday thing from a cult box. So I have got some more things coming from a cult box. So be sure to look out for that. I've also got a spooky box and I've got a trick or treat box. Now what I was thinking of doing guys is maybe um, doing the, the week leading up to the 31st. And maybe keeping the Halloween occult box for the 31st of October. And do that as the Halloween box special. Or I may just do um, all three and release them on that day. I haven't decided yet. But we'll see. All right, guys. So I will be doing the Killstar um, clothing and the shoes. But all I ask for you guys is just to be really patient and don't leave me. I will come back once I'm ready to sit. I mean, sitting on this chair at the minute is hurting me because normally I have it reclined. But I wanted to do this video. And I know it's going to be a long video, um, but it needed to be done. All right, guys. Thank you, everybody who has commented and messaged me and have been so kind of kind and considerate and understanding and just so so supportive you mean the world to me not just my youtuber guys which you guys have been absolutely amazing and you know it and um, just like my friends that have reached out to me like at home like my best mate Gemma um, I mean she's come to the hospital to see me and she's brought me like gifts and, and my cards and stuff like that and I've had loads of cards delivered from people and family and stuff like that and it means a lot um, I have had a few friends who haven't made any effort and I think um, it's kind of made me think about a few things and made me realise a few things. So, yeah, I think I'm going to be changing up a few things on that one. All right, guys, take care of yourself, look after yourselves and um, don't forget to comment and maybe I'll video call some of you maybe next week. This weekend, I just want to really rest and chill out with my, with my boy and my husband. My husband's been an absolute saviour don't know what I'd do without that man, got to tell you. Um, I'm not going to get upset, but how he had to watch me the other day, I seen the pain and stress and worry in his face. And he loves his van, but he just showed that he loves me more than his van and his speakers because he left that van, the car doors open to get me inside that hospital super fast. And... The minute he got home, he was, are you okay? Please let me know you're okay. Are you all right? He's amazing. And he's got a PhD in uh, metallurgy and physics that he's trying to complete before the end of year. And Zach's not been himself since mummy has been in hospital. He's, he's been a, very, very hard to control. So, uh, do you know what? I commend that, man. I do. So, that's it, guys. Get a bit emotional. Got to go. Um, yeah, hormones knackered after you've had a hysterectomy i've got to tell you all right guys i know i don't look the best but um take care of yourselves and i'll see you very very soon i'll try and get this video up for tomorrow morning 
it's Friday now. Yeah, a week today since I went in. Crazy. All right, take care of yourself. See you in the next one. Bye for now.